Hello and welcome to this beginner and intermediate mandolin lesson on how to play Whiskey in the Jar, made famous by the Dubliners, or Thin Lizzy, or even Metallica, yes, look that up. Uh, hopefully at the end of this lesson we're going to learn the chords and the melody and be able to have a jam round of it with something that sounds a bit like this. I should say that everything we talk about over the next 10-12 minutes or so is included on a PDF which is linked in the description of the video below, so make sure you have that in front of you so you don't have to learn any of this by ear. So we're going to start by learning the chords. Now all versions of this song has the same chord chart, just in different keys. So the original Dubliners is in C, their 40th anniversary concert, which is on YouTube, is in D, um, Thin Lizzy do it in G, and Metallica do it in F. So this really can be moved to any key that you want. It's not stuck in, uh, you know, an original key. I'm going to choose the key of D because I like how that sits on the mandolin. So we'll start with the verse, nice and simple, three chords to it, D. B minor and G. And then there's only one more chord you need actually when we look, look to the chorus and that's an A. And there's two different ways you could approach those chords. If you're in, you know, a rowdy Irish pub and you've had maybe a few whiskies, you might want some open chords. You might want some, some notes ringing out. So if that's the case, I have given you four suggestions, and this is mainly for beginner players if you've not done these before. So you've got D2002, B minor, 4022, G0023, and then A2200, which I play with just my index finger, but you could play that with index and middle if you need to. So they're nice and open chords, so you can kind of join in with uh, the feel if that's what's going on. Alternatively, you could do what I call closed chords, which is where you take away some of the open strings and use a lot more of the fretted notes, and that gives you a bit more control over the chords. So in that instance, my D would be this one, two, four, five. My B minor, four, four, five, seven. Your pinky finger on the, the high note there. Same G, can't really get around that one. And then A, two, two, four, five. So with those closed ones, you can control the note length by releasing the pressure. So that allows you. You can get a bit more of a rhythm going with those closed chords. You can mix and match, it's completely up to you. I'm just hopefully giving you everything you need should you need to play this in a jam session. And then we need to talk about rhythm. So on the mandolin, as much as we'd like to play whatever rhythm we want, we do need to put a bit of thought into it. So I think there's two rhythms that work really well with this song, and they're kind of linked. They're very simple but very solid bass and strum. So when, when you're looking at a chord chart, one bass and strum is one D chord. So there's one D, two Ds, three Ds, four Ds. And then you do four B minors. Two, three, four. Or, alternatively, you can make that a little more complex. And I there's no simple name for this, so I just call this bass, strum, down, up, strum, up. So if I just do it on a D chord... Bass, strum, down, up, strum, up. And again, that's tabbed out in the PDF if you want to see what that looks like. So now what we need to do is we want to have a jam through the chord chart. And at this point, I'm going to bring my bandmate Jay back in. And what we're going to do, so we're going to play a verse and a chorus. And don't forget, there's a little times two next to the verse, which means you do the verse chords twice. So you do D, B minor, G, D, D, B minor, G, D, and then the chorus. And I'll overdub a mandolin playing the melody so that you can hear everything in context. And one, two, three, four, D.
Next we have the melody. Now I'm gonna keep to the sort of standard melody for intermediate players who want something a bit harder. That in the index of the PDF there is a slightly harder version of the melody with some double stops and little tricks and trills of the trade. So the verse melody. There's our opening phrase. So let's do that together. Oh, one, two, three. Second phrase, that's after four. Oh, one, two, three, four. So if we do those together, a oh, one, two, three. And then the second line. So I will stick the metronome on just to keep me in time and let's play that verse round twice. So that's at 140, uh, so it's about this speed. Okay, so let's do the verse twice round. And one, two, three. And then the chorus. The famous hook. So the first line of the chorus, let's try it together after four. A oh, one, two, three, four. And then the second line after four, after this, yeah, three, four, one. Three, four, one. And now we'll do it with the metronome, the chorus again. A one, two, three, four. Four, one. So uh, you've probably guessed this is coming, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a jam round of the tune. So I'm gonna bring my bandmate back in and we're gonna play twice through the whole thing. So verse, chorus, verse, chorus. And that is just for you to switch between the two. We're not gonna sing it. We don't wanna ruin the, the lyrics because we're not Irish. It would sound very weird, but we're gonna play the melody and I want you to switch between chords and melody and uh, so, so you can practice both so that when you come to playing this with other people who may want to sing it, you know exactly how to join in. A one, two, three. <laughs> One final thing we can look at with this tune, which you may be required to do in uh, the aforementioned yet to happen jam session, is the intro. There's two different intros. Um, there's the Dubliner's way of playing the intro, which is just a short four bars 
uh, based off the last line of the chorus. And then there's the Thin Lizzy intro, which is a whole new sort of 16 bar phrase that they've written and changed, you know, new chords, new melody and everything. So the Dubliners won. So if we just, if I try try that round a few times, after three, oh, one, two, three. And again, a oh, one, two, three. One more time for good luck. I oh, one, two, three. And then the Thin Lizzy version, you, you would need to spend a little bit of time with uh, a bandmate to arrange this because there's there's kind of like a chord intro, so um, you would have D, C, D minor, one, two, three. So there's kind of odd timings, but we'll do it with J in a minute. Um, but if I was just to play how the, the different riffs sound... Does that three times? Another time. And then finally. And then into the melody. So that this is the Thin Lizzy version. So the best way of doing this, I'm going to bring J back in and we're going to go from the very start. So there's a bar of J going D, C, and then B minor. Then there's a bar of B minor, then three beats. I'll, I'll make sure we count us in. One. Four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hope you've enjoyed this whistle stop tour through whiskey in the jar it's a great song um don't forget this applies to the dubliners 40th anniversary version which you've i've linked below and you can head over there and play along with it because it's in the same key and please do hit like and subscribe while you're here and sign up to the mailing list over at mandomike.com we'll see you next month